The following program contains scenes of graphic violence and horror. It may not be suitable for younger or more sensitive viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. ordinary TV set. Is that Roy Daxton or isn't it? All lives would be lost if it isn't found. No. I can't tell. Well, I really appreciate I you telling uh, me this, but, uh... A young Don McCoskey. I forgot to brush my teeth, so I gotta go. <laughs> From Bye. the Green Bay Packers, quarterback. Foo-foo! Foo-foo! Wait, you're not my master! Oh, my God! Help! <laughs> Little doggy yelp for hell. Inside, inside they're they're different. They have no soul. Who are you? They call me the garbage man. Why? I dispose of human garbage. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're in danger. It's been a little accident. An escape. They're very real and very dangerous, Jeff. Be careful. Okay, Uncle Bob. You want me to show you how to work this thing. Use this. I told you. I've seen the movie six times. Now stand back and watch the master at work. Little punk. He's got an attitude, don't he? Into the leather face dance. He'll do a farm. Oh! Hey, your zombie wears Nikes. Iron Man. The blushing bride. Each you know. Nice wig. Just one of many climactic endings you'll see tonight on Gorefest. Good evening and welcome to Gorefest, the first of many shows. Yeah. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> the clip you just saw was Video Dead, uh, a little trinket we picked up at a local video store. We thought, we thought it was good enough for an intro, but not really good enough for us to talk to, uh, talk about for very long. So let's talk about our next clip. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what is our next clip? 
It's a reanimator. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's Night of the, the Living, Living Dead. Dead. The first, uh, the first of our clips is the first real excellent gore movie, and that's what we're here to talk about: gore movies. So let's watch it. <laughs> a classic. George Romero's Night of the Living Dead. Roll tape. <laughs> here it is. Right over there. I jumped out at you from behind the tree, and Grandpa got all excited, and he shook his fist at me, and he said, Boy, you'll be damned to hell. <laughs> Remember that? Right over there. Well, you used to really be scared here. Johnny. You're still afraid. Stop it now. I mean it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> oh, look out. WWF Wrestling. Johnny the Stick Man against Billy the Zomboid. Oh, great sound effect they had there, huh? God, she's beautiful. Where'd she get that forehead? I guess I shouldn't talk. America's first glimpse at real gore. Ooh, scary. Where's that tire iron when you need it? Sam borrowed that music from Planet of the Apes. You know, this is Bill Cosby's first movie. <laughs> is it? Yeah, then he did Ghost Dad and ruined his film career. He's got a nice thing going with the Cosbys. Don't have to worry. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Hi. Seem are not the results of mass hysteria. Mass hysteria. What do they think we're imagining all this? Shut up! Shut up! I'm watching community access television. The murder which is sweeping the eastern third of the nation is being committed by creatures who feast upon the flesh of their victims. Mm. First eyewitness accounts of this grisly development came from people who were understandably frightened and almost incoherent. I guess so. Officials and newsmen. Okay, everybody get back here. My, my neighbor's flesh was eaten, but However, I'm understandably coherent, aren't I? Medical examinations of some of the victims bore out the fact that they had been partially devoured. <laughs> Her jacket's gone. Great overdub by Bonzo the Dub Boy. I guess you don't have to worry about your jacket being caught anymore. Because <laughs> now you're a piece of roasted flesh. Whoa, that's some bad barbecue. Ladies and gentlemen, Ed Asner. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Mm -hmm. This is Portage County deer hunting last year. Hey, damn tourists. Let's go check out the house. I heard something in there. I heard a noise. I think it's a fib. Must have been some people from Illinois. All right, Vince. Hit him in the head, right between the eyes. Did he shoot him? Did he shoot the guy? You'll have to rent the video and find out. Ooh, ooh, you got me. Check 
Shall we materialize now? Yes, Wonder Twin. Bravo. Yes, a classic. Bravo. You can catch that one on late night TV just about anywhere around Halloween, too. Yeah, it's on about oh, five or six different video distributor companies, so uh, I don't know which one we stole it from. But it's definitely a classic. Definitely the first of many uh, Living Dead movies. All right, George Romero, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. Afternoon of the Dead. Yeah, brunch with the Dead. Late, early evening, late afternoon of the Dead. Now, coming up next is Reanimator. Right, the one you said so before. Right, right. This is a real good gore film. Real good. A uh, lot of uh, reanimation. <laughs> a lot of gore and reanimation. Uh, actually, a takeoff, I guess sort of a takeoff on the Frankenstein theme, right? Mm -hmm. Man creating life, but this time with a twist, man creating life from old friends of his uh, who are gone. So let's watch a clip from another one of our favorites, Reanimator. Reanimator. Huh? Here she comes. Dr. Gruber has an Excedrin headache. <laughs> what is that? Of course he's dead. The dosage was too large. You killed him. No, I did not. You pumpernickel. I gave him life. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. You're on a hereabout department. <laughs> yes. Didn't we meet this morning? You're, uh, West. Herbert West. The brain can only survive an additional six to 12 minutes. Six to 12 minutes. Perhaps it takes desire. I won't argue with that. An obsessive uh -uh. desire. Perhaps it takes. Mr. West, I suggest you get yourself a pen. Preferably a big pen. Proud sponsors yes, of Gorefest. You, John Doe, apparently just dropped dead. No record of any damage. It's almost perfect. Let's get out of here. You wonder why Obviously, he's not perfect, though? Do they see something we can't? The dosage, 20 cc's of reagent. <laughs> Let's go. No. Hello. Shake. Who is that? That's Arnold Schwarzenegger's body double. I'm shocked. Such language. You steal the secret of life and death, and here you are, twisting with a bubble-headed co-ed. You're not even a second-rate scientist. You'll never get credit for my discovery. Who's going to believe a talking head? Get a job in a sideshow. That's it. That is one of the best lines in, in, in gore movie history, I'd say. I enjoy it also. Yes, I do. <laughs> Stop the tape. Look, you can see above the set there. You'd have to be a technical idiot to make a mistake like that. <laughs> Wait, we're still on. Go back, go back. Run the tape. Stop the tape. Isn't that Stuart McDaniel from Modus and the Alligators? He's a good boy, that Stu. Good drummer, too. Pretty good with an axe, too. I'll say. Again, I'll say. <laughs> Is she dead? Is she dead? Is she dead? You'll have to rent the tape and find out. Okay. liver sound is great. Big boy. 
Don't do it. Work. Ah! You'll have to rent the movie and find out. Oh, we got them. <coughs> we got them by the throat. They're moving now. <laughs> Got a little monitor down here for you wondering what we're doing. I've got a monitor. How do we know? Uh, let's take time out here just for a minute to pay homage to a, our favorite late night talk show host. And let's uh, rip off David Letterman's top 10 list thing. Everybody else does it. Why shouldn't we? Right. I mean, what are they going to do? Sue us? <laughs> <laughs> mm, I bet. But with a twist. Uh, coming up now, we have the top 10 ways to get yourself killed in a gore movie. If Elmo would roll the tape in the booth, Elmo, Elmo if you would. You can read it. Top 10 ways to get. Number 10, have sex. With him. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, go outside in your underwear. Particularly after having sex. Never fails. Number eight, be a whiny ass crybaby and keep saying, we're, we're all gonna, gonna die. die. Number seven. Seven, Elmo, damn it. Number seven, stay behind while the others go on. That means like on into another situation. <laughs> Number six, have no last name or under, other indication of your lasting importance to the film. Never fails. Let me read one. Okay, go ahead. Number five, stare out a window with your face real close to the glass. Number four. Here it comes. Top ten ways to die in a movie. Oh, share, stare into a mirror with your face real close to the glass. Stress on mirror. Number three, <laughs> mirror. walk backwards. Sounds Ooh, spooky. Scary sound. Number two, let the camera zoom in real close to you. <laughs> and the number one that? way to get yourself killed in a horror movie, lean over the inner body of the villain and say, there's nothing to be afraid of. He's dead, see? <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Paul and the band. Yeah, folks. doing the Tonight Show theme. Okay, stop laughing. Settle down out there. I think we're killing them. We're Wait. knocking them dead. This Yay. is working great. Well, will it work in Toledo? <laughs> okay, next up. This show is number one in Japan, by the way. <laughs> yeah, with different people and a different format and different plot entirely, but... It's a different show. Yeah, but it's still number one in Japan. Next up, Evil Dead. Evil Dead, by far the best wow. gore movie ever to be put onto celluloid. Cellulite? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I got a little of that right here. <laughs> Sam Raimi, yeah. Uh, he also came out with Dark Man, kind of a disappointing Dark film. Dark Man sucked. Yeah, but uh, Evil Dead and maybe Evil Dead 2 is uh, two real good Evil films. Evil Dead 2 is also, a, I would say it's a classic. And let us ramble on even more and say Evil Dead 3 is going to be coming out pretty soon. What's it, Evil Dead 3? I think 3? it's called Army of... The dead. Army of the dead. <laughs> Something like yeah. that. Army of the underworld. Uh, okay, so here we go. Evil dead. Roll it, Elmo. So low budget, they couldn't afford music in the beginning. of the Evil Dead. That wasn't too obviously a chunk of dry ice, was it? No, no. Not at all. There's some more. No, that's swamp gases. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's the Qatari demons. Oh, I 
had no idea that was gonna happen. Of course, we'd like to thank Sam Raimi for offering to co-host the show with us. Why couldn't you make it, by the way? Uh, he had to do laundry. Oh. Jehovah's Witnesses, do you think? <laughs> Maybe. This kind of looks like your old girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Book of the Dead. Rent the movie, find out what that's all about. That's a separate story all in itself. It has been a number of years since I began excavating the ruins of Kandah with a group of my colleagues. Now my wife and I have retreated Tape to a small cabin of the in the solitude dead. of these mountains. Here I continued my research undisturbed by the myriad distractions of modern civilization and far from the groves of academe. Ah. I believe I have made a significant find in the Kandarian ruins, a volume of ancient Sumerian burial practices Let's and funerary Let's get over with candidate. this tape and get it out it in the other room. It is entitled de Manto. Roughly translated, Book of the Dead. The book is bound in human flesh and inked, inked in human, human blood. blood. I don't believe it! It's true! Better. Queen of Spades. Cut it out, Mark. You're scaring me. Or oh, Eight of spades. spades. We got a poker player here. Two of Spades, Jack of Diamonds, Jack of Clubs! Ah! <laughs> that, that's her poker face. Like somebody hit her with a hot poker. <laughs> Repeatedly in the face. Got a little cellar dweller and everything. That lump in the center of her chest. Ooh. That kind of looks like your old girlfriend, Johnny. <laughs> oh, yeah, use that joke it. again. Oh, I hate that when you get that spot on you your back. Can't, you can't Ooh. itch there. Just... I'm gonna time this screen. Twenty-five minutes. <laughs> That's okay, Scotty. She's dead. Really, she is. She's really dead. It's okay. Oh! Uh, I lied. That's your girlfriend. What do you mean that? That's your girlfriend. Give her a big, fat kiss. <laughs> Bruce breaks rule number 10, walks backwards. He'll have to pay the price. Or will he? Guess oh, no. not. Nah, it's okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, first aid. Ash. Evil Dead style. Ash, I don't want to die. Uh oh, he's You're not breaking leave a cardinal me, rule too. Whiner, whiner. You're not gonna leave me here, are you? Are you? Are you tell him. <laughs> Scotty, now come on, listen to me for God's sake. Three compressions now, two quick breaths. Oh! 
One, two, three. Ah, Hulk Hogan would have keep hitting her. I'd keep hitting her. That falls into that getting close to a mirror category. Bastards. Why are you torturing me like this? Why? Oh, what delivery. Could it be your acting? <laughs> we love old Bruce so actually. gonna have to rent the movie again. Welcome back. Hope that oh, Bruce Campbell. Sorry, Bruce. Oh, the rest of them. <laughs> okay. Hey. <clears throat> we planned it that way. Yes. Well, that was Evil Dead, the best of the best. Of, well, maybe we shouldn't put it that way. You'll never watch again in the future. We do plan future shows. Uh, we've got in mind the sequel show. That's a good idea. Mm. The sequel show. And we'll show uh, the sequel to Evil Dead, which is a classic, Evil Dead 2. Uh, maybe the Night of the Living Dead sequels. Yeah. Return of the Living Dead, Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Chopping Mall of the Dead. Uh, we have Hellraiser and Hellraiser 2, another great sequel combination. What else? Oh, I think you named pretty much every movie oh, that's Texas, ever been made. Texas Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre 1 and 2. And oh, well, Reanimator, the, another show that we oh, had. Oh yeah, Reanimator. Reanimator Bride, had Bride of Reanimator. Bride of the Reanimator. And then there's of course Divorce of Reanimator. <laughs> okay, okay. Mother-in-law of Reanimator. Uh, okay. I guess that's it. We'd like to thank uh, O'Day's Pub on Highway 54 for the use of their uh, props. Oh, what a blatant plug that was! You wouldn't be related to those people, would you, Mark O'Day? Hi, Ma. <laughs> Checks in the mail, I hope. <laughs> we, we'd also Hugs like and to kisses. Thank Community Access Television uh, for doing the show in Windsor Lake Studios in Rhinelander, Wisconsin. We're Makers, in tight with them. Uh, us and uh, Bill up there in the studio, like this. Uh, they were kind of an inspiration to us all locally. Elmo is getting a little bored. And, and God so. bless America. <laughs> and I'd just like to thank my agent and all right, all right. let's get out of here and my gynecologist <laughs> please watch next time we're gone see ya happy halloween <laughs>